Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, it is Bismarck Shirt Day and Rodney Cup Day. <laughs> you know what I like about this shirt? It's got a pocket and I can put one of Missy's dog cookies in it. <laughs> and when I hear her barking at my door, I'm, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> no, actually, the, the reason I really like this shirt is because a viewer thought enough of me to print it out and, and mail it to me, you know? <laughs> That's uh, that's sort of mind mind boggling, you know. I, I really appreciate stuff like that. However, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I, I I don't the re the reason I I think is because I don't really feel worthy. I don't think I'm that good. <laughs> uh, may maybe interesting, but not good. <laughs> okay, uh, I have speaking of good, I have good news. Yes. I checked my email this morning and we got an email from Gabe and Gabe said that he is willing to come by in a few days. Well, first of all, he, he's, good, he's thinking of printing out a 148th figure uh, in his 3D printer and I think he said he would, he would prime it and then he would bring it and he would show us how he would paint a 148th scale figure. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens here. It might be in the next few days. And I told him, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the viewers today, and we'll uh, get the the reaction and the comments if you'd be interested in seeing something like that. Uh, you know, uh, comment in that direction. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody's going to say, Gabe, stay home. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Anyway, that, so we, we have that to look forward to. Now, I don't think I'll be getting to the figures on the submarine for quite a while. So by the time I actually get to them, I'll have to probably re-watch that episode to, to remember, oh yeah, that's the way, that's the procedure to go to get to paint it right. Because <laughs> my idea of painting figures is you look at the figure and, okay, uh, all right, he's, uh, he's, he's basically flesh-colored. Uh, except for his boots and his hat, and I dip him in flesh-colored paint, and then let it dry, and then I dip his his hat in the in the, in, a, in whatever, and then his boots in the other. You know, <laughs> that's the kind of painting I do. Well, it, it looks like that, it seems. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, let's stop being silly here. We we got a lot of railing left to do. I I did not uh, do any more railing yesterday. I just did that uh, that box opening thing, and uh, I don't know if there'll be a, a box opening episode tonight or not. Uh, uh, one of the viewers said that he thought he noticed where something. Remember, I had said if you notice anything wrong with the sprue uh, in the comments. Oh, Missy's at my door. I, I gotta go. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> I was just on the, uh, doing a recording and I heard this little dog bark and I said, Oh, Missy's at my door, I gotta go. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you are such a special little person. And I just love your Halloween outfit. <laughs> this is the most realistic dog outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> How many kids did you figure you got last night? Uh, I'm thinking probably about uh, well, what what I had planned to do was I was going to uh, uh, count how many pieces of candy I had left, right? The problem was I ate so much of it myself that the, the count is out. But I would think about uh, 80 kids. 80? Eh? I'm just guessing, yeah. Same as last year, more? Uh, I think it was a little less than last year. The weather was nicer last year, if you remember. Yeah. yeah. It's plus 15 or something. Maybe. I'm, I'm amazed that I'm not completely broke out in pimples this morning. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll see you later. Yeah. See you later. Okay, today, Wednesday? Yeah. See you this afternoon. See, I wasn't lying. She really was at my door. <laughs> but some, some, sometimes I think the viewers think I make stuff up. Uh, yeah, we just had to go to the bathroom. That was all. Yeah, that's right. That, and that was my excuse. <laughs> I have completely forgotten what we were talking about. I know we were talking about Gabe is coming and in the comments below, you know, let them know you, you want to see him that way it'll make him get here for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's just, let's just get at it here and, uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of videoing today because, uh, I, I want to get the railing done at least on this side up to the bow and, uh, if, unless something really interesting happens, we've already basically, <clears throat> excuse me, we've already basically seen it being done and, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to sort of get at it here and, uh, and get at it. Okay. I got up to right here. I didn't get right to the bow like I had hoped. I'm going to have to cut her off here, do the final edit, but I remembered what it was I was starting to say and then I forgot when I went to give Missy her dog cookie. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got I got a comment from a viewer who was saying that he thought something was uh, broken on one of the sprues. I haven't checked that out yet, but I, I will. And also, I had noticed that I thought something was missing on one of the sprues um, when I was looking at the at the uh, at the manual later, the parts uh, diagram. And I, I want to check that out. So that'll probably be uh, in tonight's little, uh, I guess that'd be part seven. Anyway, uh, it'll be the update for the uh, box opening. Uh, it'll be short. And, and so this video is also short. There's uh, not a whole much, much more I can show you here today. So uh, I'm going to call her quits and I'm going to continue on. Who knows when? No you saying maybe I'll come back to the model table and do it tonight because most of the time I don't do that. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Now I know that if I don't mention it, somebody's going to say, hey, we didn't see the walkers. Well, Don and Bridget came by this morning just before 7.30. A little later in the morning, I noticed there was a machine came over the bridge and cleared the snow. So, uh, yeah, maybe their walking will be a little bit easier tomorrow. Now, I'm assuming it came over the bridge, because when I saw it, it was working around on this end of it. So, I mean, why not clear the bridge, right? On the other hand, where's it going to scrape the snow to? Onto the cars that are passing underneath? So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, 